Hello everyone, welcome to the Rock and Crystals channel. My name is AJ and today we are going to be taking a look at how to meditate with crystals. Meditation is a practice that can be beneficial for the mind, the body, and the spirit. It helps to clear your mind, your space, your energy, and your aura, and it helps you to relax by reducing anxiety and releasing negative energy as well as quelling unwanted thoughts. Using crystals in meditation is a way to help deepen your practice and achieve a specific outcome. On a spiritual level, using crystals can help you to raise your awareness and consciousness, bringing insight and deepening your intuition. It is beneficial to choose crystals that contain energy for healing and that are, that are also in line rather with what you want to achieve out of your practice. Setting intentions and meditating with your crystals daily enhances and magnifies your results. When the mind is focused on your intention from the stillness of your meditation and the energy is within the crystal, uh, you will have a better motivation and inspiration for achieving the goals uh, or receiving certain energy that is beneficial to achieving the outcome that you're looking for from your meditation, be it a more relaxed state of mind, freedom from stress, self-healing, self-discovery, actualization, uh, intuition on to what your steps should next be in life, whatever it is that you're looking for when you meditate, when you quiet your mind and shut up that monkey chatter for just a little bit, you will find, or you may find, not every time, but you may find that ideas just start popping into your head. And that is one of the most beautiful things about meditation, is just being able to have a space where answers to the questions that you have, and sometimes the questions that you didn't even necessarily know that you have, had, had, have, uh, just start popping into your mind. And ideas sometimes just start bubbling out. And, and before you know it, you need to find a, a, a notebook or something to write down what you're what you're thinking about because it's just too great to forget that that happens quite frequently in meditation well like i say when you when you can just sh shut up the monkey mind for a little bit <laughs> so after you have chosen your crystals the ones that you feel are best for you for your particular meditation and of course browse this entire channel to discover all the different types of crystals and what they can be used for actually we are starting a series soon on what crystals to choose for specific things so it'll be easier to look up the specific type of problem that you're trying to solve, be it perhaps anxiety, depression, whatever the case may be, and look uh, specifically to the crystals that you might be... Uh, anyway, we'll get more on that later. So there is no right or wrong way to meditate. Uh, and there is a, technically no right or wrong crystal to use. As long as you use, is you use rather your intuition in helping you choose uh, the crystal to meditate with. Sometimes your intuitive self knows things that cannot be explained or that are not necessarily known by your brain and sometimes just going with what you know without knowing can uh, well achieve the results that you're looking to achieve and sometimes you don't even know that you're looking to achieve but are of a benefit to you overall in your life and life's purpose so here's a few steps that might help you if you're, especially if you're just getting started with meditation uh, with crystals so step number one find a quiet space where you feel comfortable and relaxed to practice your meditation, hopefully free from distractions such as that of a pet or loud noises. Make sure the television is turned off. You might want a little bit of music. Relaxing meditation music is great. Also, check out uh, AJ Dare. That's my music channel. I've got some great meditation music on there, some of it specifically designed to help with meditation. Just search for AJ Dare and you'll find... Uh, find my channel on that if you're looking for some meditation music. Uh, step two, sit quietly with the crystals you have chosen close by. You can hold on to these crystals. You can place them on one of your uh, energy centers, one of your chakra centers, where appropriate uh, if you are working on a specific area of, of that. Uh, step three, close your eyes and quiet your mind and focus your attention on your breath. Now, this is one form of meditation. There are others. But focusing your attention on your breath is a beautiful practice because breath is life. Breath is energy. Breath is being. Breath is energy. Breath is all things. 
Uh, so pay attention to your breath. And as you bring your breath in, keep your mind on your breath. As you hold your breath for a moment, keep your mind on your breath. As you exhale, keep your mind on your breath. And that is key. Keep your mind on your breath. If your mind wanders, that's okay. That happens. That will happen a lot. Uh, especially if you're learning meditation for the first time or if you have only been practicing for a while, the mind will wander. Even if you have been practicing for a long time, I have been practicing for more than 20 years, and my mind can still wander off on its own. Um, it depending, right? I, I have a lot more, mm, let's say, awareness of my mind than I did when I first started, but depending on your state. If you have a very busy brain, you have a lot of things on the go, it can be tricky to keep your mind on your practice, especially if you're excited about things or stressed about things. Um, anyway, pick up the crystals that you have chosen and hold them comfortably in your hands. You can hold one in either hand if you're using a pair that complements each other. This can be a great way to connect that overall flow of energy. Now, imagine your energy and awareness going into the stones or crystals and feeling the energy of those crystals vibrate back into your auric body. Imagine white light and breathe that white light in, letting the energy of the crystals fill your mind and permeate your senses, bringing your mind to the attention of this energy. Uh, if your mind wanders, like I say, that's okay. Just bring it back. Bring it back to your breath. Bring it back to the energy. Uh, the longer that you are able to keep your mind from wandering, the more easily you will be able to sink into a deeper and deeper state of relaxation and trance. And if you are able to do this for a long enough period of time, or with enough, um, let's say, relaxation, it doesn't have to take a long time, but like I say, if... Uh, uh, if you're just starting out on practicing uh, meditation, it can take a little while to learn how to achieve a trance state quickly. Um, it, you know, it's possible. But typically, you'll want to allow your mind a chance to slip into trance. And uh, like I say, if you're able to keep your mind from wandering too much in the busy chatter of the monkey mind, you will find yourself slipping to this beautiful, relaxed state where you'll start to feel your, your state shift almost as though if you were slipping from consciousness to unconsciousness although you will be conscious right almost as, if, as though if you're slip, slipping into some sort of uh, sleep or dream state but of course you will be conscious uh, anyway visualize your intention relax your mind and body sit with the crystals as long as you like uh, the longer you saturate yourself in the blissful, beautiful energy of pure relaxation, well, the better. You can't go wrong with saturating in too much bliss, really. So keep it. Keep that state. Enjoy that state. And remember that even though you may be busy with a million other things in life, is there really anything that feels better than true, deep, amazing relaxation? I don't know. So don't be so in too big of a hurry to quit your meditation that's that's the point that i'm getting to and that's something i keep telling myself because there's so many things i love doing and so many things i have fun doing but what really feels better than that pure deep relaxed state i don't know not a lot of things so be patient with, with yourself and let yourself really enjoy that beautiful state chances are in fact that once you get into a deeply relaxed state you might just be totally content to stay there and that's totally fine stay as long as you like <clears throat> So as I mentioned, it's best to be free of distractions and interruptions. Find a quiet space in your house. Turn off your phone and turn off the buzzer as well on your phone. And like I say, play some soft music if you like. Uh, soft music that is too spa-like might put you to sleep. Uh, I actually really like uh, meditative music that has some energy behind it. And that's actually something I've been getting into lately is practicing meditation with a more high energy type of music, sort of like a static dance type type music uh, to allow your mind to go into sort of a trance state with maybe deep chanting or something like the didgeridoo, but also then having some powerful drumming to keep the mind uh, awake and not sleeping. Uh, and that's the problem with, with relaxing music that's too relaxing. So avoid anything that's too relaxing because the point is not to fall asleep, although it's okay if you do. The point is to enter a state of deep, relaxing trance. A meditative relaxation is different than sleep relaxation. I'm not exactly sure how, 
but I'm quite sure that it is. Anyway, uh, it's important to repeat your meditation. Uh, daily is best, and uh, sometimes this can, this can be tricky. Sometimes a couple of times a day is also great. It really depends on how much time you can find. But if you can manage to repeat your, da- your meditation daily, that you're on a great, great track. Um, twice a day is really quite optimal, uh, but uh, once a day is great, and if you miss a day, you know, it's not the end of the world, but um, in doing of the thing with some regularity and routine, you start to create a habit for your mind to enter into a state of pure relaxation and meditation and just saturate with bliss and being, and uh, habit is how we program our subconscious and our subconscious is what determines most of our other behaviors in regards to how we feel what we do etc etc so if you're able to program your subconscious through the use of habit and disciplined uh, daily meditation for a period of time eventually it may just become your new mind and if your new mind is more permeated with bliss and joy and relaxation well that's not too bad okay You can win a crystal by leaving a comment and letting us know what you love about crystals. Also be subscribed to this channel. We give away a new crystal with every video upload. If you're looking to buy crystals, we have some amazing deals available at our crystal shop. Link in the description below. Grab yourself a free copy of the Crystal Compendium, which has over 250 crystal definitions. Link in the description below. Join our crystal affiliate program if you'd like to make money selling crystals. We pay a 22 2 percent commission for referred sales enroll in our crystal healing course link in the description below along with the link to our affiliate program and check out the crystal meanings app in both the app store and google play store for crystal meanings and definitions at your fingertip it's absolutely free pun intended and of course be subscribed to this channel because we learn something about crystals every single day and who doesn't love learning about crystals okay have a great day